In July of 2021, the Maui County Council received the Maui County Comprehensive Affordable Housing Plan, which was intended to provide a plan to build 5,000 affordable homes for local residents at or below the 120% area median income. Do you think the plan provides a successful strategy? What aspects of the plan do you intend to pursue and what will you avoid? The reason you commission a report or a study is because you don't know the answer. So you go and you commission it so somebody will do the research for you and get that. Sometimes you like the result, sometimes you don't like the result. I think this plan is a good start because I think the work that went into it um, was well-intentioned. Um, however, there are some things, the $6 billion that was talked about and the way they planned on paying that back and how that was going to be afforded was, uh, was some interesting math uh, that was proposed. I think for us, what we want to know, you know, when we talk about housing, any kind of housing, wherever it is, and, and we don't use the term affordable because there's no such thing as affordable. If you want to buy a house on Maui, you got two choices, expensive or out of reach. Those are your two choices. And I'm talking to the realtors, so I know you guys know better than I do about this. But the reason the housing is so critical is because that's going to impact our traffic. If we can get housing in West Maui for the people who work there, they don't have to drive over the poly to go and work there. So when we build housing, where we build it and who it's intended for, not just, does not just impact the housing, it impacts our traffic and impacts our resources. Um, so again, my comment on this, on this plan was that it was a good start, but it's not the end all. It is not the end all. 